It's Ryan Nicholson, Angels' 10th round pick from this most recent draft. Ryan, uh, I kind of want to start with Cincinnati. Uh, four years in Cincinnati. What did you learn over those four years that, that maybe took you into the fifth year senior year with Kentucky? Uh, I think I think I just like matured a lot. Um, I was very comfortable at Cincinnati. I love UC. I love everything about Cincinnati. Um, I'll be there in the off season, but uh, I think it just took like um, for me going to Cincy to UK. I was very comfortable at Cincy, but like I think. I had to prove myself on the SEC to be like, okay, you know, this guy, you know, he hits well in the American. Let's see if he can do it at the Southeastern Conference. And um, I think I proved that, and that's where – that's kind of the reason that I'm here. Um, but, yeah, like it just uh, – I had to prove it to myself. I had to prove it to a lot of other people um, that I could do it, and I think that transition was uh, the reason. And going to Kentucky – I, I want to focus on the development, but, but I want to start first with the team this year, the Kentucky baseball team, mm -hmm. what they were able to accomplish for that program. And also, I was just talking to Mitchell just now, I think your entire infield is in pro ball now. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, Ryan was a first-round pick, Ryan yeah. Walshman, first-round pick. And I think you had three, four, five pitchers that went to pro ball as well. So as a team that, that hadn't been to the College World Series before, um, and I know it was a, one year for you at Kentucky, but yeah. but what that meant for that program and, and what kind of leadership you brought with that program and, and what it was like to play in the College World Series. Yeah, I think it was, uh, I think it was a good foundation of like where that program um, and its identity, where they want to be. Um, you know, we wanted, we talked about being national champions like the whole year. If you're not going to talk about that, then or where if you want to get to Omaha or be national champions and champions, you're not going to be there if you're not trying to get there. Like you can't, you have to set the bar pretty high. Um, so it's, uh, it's, it's getting there. Like that program, it's, I think they have a really good identity. I think the coaching staff there um, knows what they want um, as players coming in and the identity that those players have. Um, I think they're doing a really good job recruiting. They use the portal really well. Um, and I think it just it just meant a lot to the guys to be the first ones uh, to make it to Omaha. Um, you know, we'll forever be cemented as the first the first ones. And um, I think I'm very grateful to be a part of it. I'm sure you know everyone else is who's a part of that club. But um, yeah, just something I'll, I'll cherish for a very long time. And um, you know, I wish nothing but the best. And just going to the development side of that, um, you know, you have obviously four years experience of college ball, but going to a new program. What was the change between Cincinnati and Kentucky, or was there one? Yeah, like I think a lot of people assume uh, that there's this this drastic change uh, that you know the SEC has, and um, I mean I was definitely coming in like I have to prove myself, and I put a lot of pressure on myself early on to perform, and um, there was a lot of things that I was trying to do that wasn't working. Um, and then I honestly, I went back to what I was doing at Cincinnati and it started to click for me, especially in conference. And uh, I mean, it's the same game. I mean, everyone tries to blow some stuff out of proportion. The velocity and stuff from pitchers, uh, just overall stuff, you know, in the conference is better. Um, but, you know, they throw it harder and if you make contact, you're going to hit it farther. So, you know, there's some, there's some things there, but um, there's really good hitters, just like the overall talent there um, is really good. I mean, you look at top to bottom, you know, the guys that get drafted in that conference. Um, but you just, I feel like I couldn't look at it like that. I thought it was just the same game. I'm playing against a lot of the same faces, a lot of guys that I knew transferred um, from the American uh, to whether it was like a Power 5 ACC school or the SEC. So um, you, I feel like – you couldn't you can't look at it as you know like there's some higher power i think like i try to go in there just like same game just do my thing and um you know once i got in the right headspace before conference uh it was turned out pretty well and obviously your success there led to a 10th round selection with the angels what was draft day like for you that second day of the draft well i think for guys like me who are looking at like day two day three it's pretty stressful I'm trying to take my mind off of it. Um, I ended up going to like Top Golf with my dad, just trying to take my mind off things. Um, I wish it was like less stressful, but um, I just wanted to. I just wanted to shot, you know, go somewhere to play. Um, you know, it's it, it was what it was. Uh, it was you know we ended up getting the call on the on the drive home, but um, 
yeah, it was, it was very cool to be with my dad during that time. Um, you know, after everything, all the drives, whether it was driving down to Cooperstown or driving up to Cooperstown when I was like 12 or driving all the way down to Panama City when I was like 12 or 13, something like that. But I mean, just a lot of traveling and a lot of games that my parents, um, you know, have, you know, taken me to and, you know, it's, they've put a lot of effort into me just to play this game and it's just uh, a lot a culmination of um, emotions just you know after getting drafted I felt very uh, very grateful for for all of it and then um, I just wanted to thank my parents and I, I want to take it into this summer a little bit you know obviously uh, draft camp after the draft and you sign and you had to Arizona but you were an immediate um, had an immediate assignment to Inland Empire here in San Bernardino maybe a week or so after uh, camp ended mm -hmm. also came with immediate success now you mentioned you know difference between ACC SEC now in pro ball are you playing the same game that you feel that you were playing ACC even though maybe as you noted maybe guys are throwing the ball harder maybe the stuff is better is it are you staying within kind of the same game and that's why you've been so successful yeah I think if it ain't broke don't fix it but like I um, mean you know, you come out here and everything's different. Um, you know, who you're, who you're hitting against, who you're playing, um, you know, what the what you want to do in certain situations, how you hit, how you feel. Um, you know, you're getting a lot of coaching, a lot of stuff thrown at you. I think right now for me it's all about, like, adjusting, you know, to what the org wants me to do, what the coaching staff wants me to do, and just kind of take that into, you know, the next step, whether, like, that be in the spring training or, I mean, even right now, just – adjusting just constantly making adjustments um i think right now for me i've been pretty good at it um but just yeah there's a lot of differences from from uh pro ball right now to sec and um you know just there's you, i feel like i keep saying it but like you just gotta be able to make adjustments and sometimes there's some days where i'm making them and some days i'm not and that's part of you know you know dipping my toe in in pro ball right now but um you got to be willing to take the good with the bad. And, um, you know, we play so many games that you just got to keep going. All right. Well, thank you again, Ryan Nicholson, Angels 10th round pick. Thank you. I appreciate it.